Yo, what's good Tristans and Trist fam? So today we're gonna check out Rebecca Black. So I've been kind of looking for music from her ever since like she was on The Four like a few weeks ago because her singing voice transformation is just amazing. And I kind of want to see like the transformation of it. So I'm probably gonna check out a few more of her singles. Here's one called The Great Divide that came out almost a year ago, year and a half ago, maybe something like that. I'm super curious to check this out to see what her voice sounded like a year and a half ago. But before we get started, be sure you check out my website you can say anything.com. I am actually a vocal coach and I teach singing lessons online every single day. Also down in the description links to my vlog channel, cover channel, Twitch, and Patreon. On that Patreon, by the way, I do have a reward where I will help you improve your singing in both written and video format. All that being said, here we go. Rebecca Black, her new single called The Great Divide, again from about two years ago. First time I'm playing it and um, this one hits close to home, so I hope you like it. She looking sassy. You go where the wind blows, destroying everyone in your path. I'm done feeding your ego. So the first thing I'm noticing is that she's singing a lot like brighter and lighter and almost a bit more like nasally here, as opposed to how she was singing on the four, which was a lot darker and fuller. Get This is almost like a Britney Spears approach, kind of. How something so close can end up so distant. Dancing on the line of the great This is really, this is an interesting song. So uh, her performance on the four was a lot more, I almost want to say it takes influence from like a Javaya and like Billie Eilish, especially with how she uses her vowels. And she, I guess she goes for more of like the alternative vibe. And here I almost get like a Taylor Swift vibe, which is interesting. She's really adjusted her technique and her approach a lot. This, and the sound here is almost like, it reminds me of some like old, maybe like an old acoustic Paramore song or something like that. Let me go, let us go, i let you, i let you, i let you. It's awesome anyway like it's really cool seeing how she progressed from just like Friday to this and then to her most recent performance like she must have got isn't just my impression since she did this video that I'm watching right now gotten a new vocal coach of some sort or maybe just stopped taking lessons altogether and started doing things her own way because her technique here and in the four is just so different and also I can see how she got from Friday to here very similar sort of a tone obviously it's improved a lot but she did something very different coming from this into the four. I know this can't be right, hey, baby, come on. Because right here is like, hey, 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 baby, come on. It's this like <gasps> deep breathy thing. Hey, baby. And then when she's over here. Great divide. 
This is more of like an approach that's more up here. So that's actually a really cool example of how you can just go from different styles and different genres and different voices really just by adjusting how much nasal airflow you have and how much mouth airflow. Cause the four one, whatever she's doing there is more here. And then this one is more up here. And so you can just very clearly hear how the how changes in your technique and your approach to your voice can just completely alter the sound that you have. It's really cool. But anyway, hopefully this video was helpful. If you like this video, be sure to drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new, hit that bell notification, and also check out my website, youcansayanything.com. I do teach singing lessons online every single day. And until next time, Tristans and Trist fam, peace out.